Hi guys, and welcome back to the channel. So, as you can see, the Quen image generation model with control net functionality has just been released. This exciting development brings several new control net models, including canny edge detection, depth estimation, and in painting. In this video, we're going to explore the canny and depth control net models and demonstrate their capabilities. First, let's cover the installation process. You'll need to place the downloaded control net models into the correct directory within your Comfy UI setup. Navigate to your Comfy UI folder, then locate the Models folder. Inside the Models folder, you'll find a folder named ControlNet. Paste the downloaded ControlNet model files directly into this ControlNet folder. That's all there is to the installation. Now, let's jump into Comfy UI and see how these models work. We'll start with this image as our input. Within Comfy UI, you'll see various options for control net, including the VAE, models, and other settings. We'll begin by loading the clip model, followed by the save tensors file and the VAE. For our first example, we'll use the canny edge detection model. Select the canny preprocessor and the corresponding model We'll also be using the Lightning Scheduler with four steps and a LoRa model. The Quen Image Generation model with ControlNet is selected. And you can adjust parameters like size and ControlNet strength to your liking. We'll use the standard Euler Ancestral Sampler with four steps. The Canny Preview image displays the detected edges from our input image. Our text prompt is, four cute cats sitting together on the grass in a sunny park with a tree in the background. The camera used is a Canon camera. I specifically mentioned the Canon camera because I want the image to resemble a photo taken with a professional Canon camera rather than a GoPro. For example, the generated image successfully incorporates the Canon branding as requested. Next, let's switch from the Canny model to the depth model without changing any other settings. We'll select the depth preprocessor and the corresponding depth model. The preview image now displays the depth map of our input image. The generated image, again, features the Canon camera as requested, showcasing a larger, more professional looking camera, unlike the smaller GoPro style from the previous example. This output is a definite improvement. However, the four cats generated in this image appear to be different from each other, which is unexpected. Let's move on to another example with a different prompt. Ultra high definition terrifying dragon scale forge, like molten stone. From deep within, its true form emits a molten glow. This prompt was generated using ChatGPT. For this example, I've adjusted the sampling steps to 3.1 and the control net strength to 1. We'll use the depth model and remove the lightning scheduler, as I found it negatively impacted the image quality in this case. The resulting image is quite impressive. Accurately depicting the molten lava and overall scene described in the prompt. We'll save this image and adjust the CFG scale to 2.5 since we're not using the lightning scheduler. I've also reduced the image size. Our next example uses the prompt, adorable baby Pikachu sitting on the floor of a Pokemon gym. The preview image shows the depth map and the generated image is quite good, capturing the essence of the prompt. The control net functionality is proving to be quite effective, although I'm still anticipating the release of the OpenPose control net, which I believe will be even more powerful. They are the last one to do it. But still, now let's try canny again to see. Okay, let's run. It, and by the way, I'm using the RTX 4090 inch running up. This is the image. Okay, it's still loading. So this is the canny preview, and this is the image that we got. Everything else is the same, just 
I've changed it to canny. Even the prompt uh, Euler, everything is the same. So you can see the difference between the canny and the depth. Okay, let's try the depth again and see the difference between the canny and the depth one. So let me just choose deep anything we do here and just run it. So this is taking around 20 to 25 seconds in 4090. And this is the image that we got so the deep anything looks very good, bright colors and everything else. Let me just save this image. Okay. So over here, ultra realistic street photograph style, a young man leaning casually against a black futuristic sports car. So this is a bit different, uh, but still, let's see. Yes, it made a realistic image as well. So this is the video. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, then do please comment, like, comment, subscribe on my channel. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.